Many people have reached out to us asking how to get accurate cost accounting for the jobs that they are running. Well, good news. Epson has recently released an update to the Epson port solution that will give you access to this vital information. Let's take a look. I'm Bob Miller, Color Solution Specialist here at IT Supplies. And today we're gonna to take a quick look at how the Epson port solution and their new reporting tools can help your business succeed. So the first thing that we wanna do is we wanna to go to port.epson.com. Here, you're gonna see some new options here. You're gonna have this printer option, operation status and reports tab. So we're gonna to go to that dashboard. So inside of this dashboard, you're gonna see that there are gonna be several different options. We're just gonna focus on a couple of these right now. All right, so here we have our production monitor. This is where you can actually go in and see the jobs that you are running at any given moment um, and some of the history of those jobs. So these are, these are the printers this is the information for the jobs that are, are recently on these machines, how long they took, the length. If we wanna to get to more detail, we're gonna go back to the previous screen. Uh, in this previous screen, we can go to the uh, job uh, cost report. And this is kind of the area I wanted to focus on today. So in this job cost report, you can select the printers that you want to view. And here we have a number of printers in our showroom. So I'm just picking one, the R5000. So, um, so as you can see, uh, this printer is pulling information and the software is collecting it and comparing it to some of the information that I've given it uh, for pricing of inks and pricing of media. So in order to get this report accurate, the first thing that we need to do is go into the price settings area. In the price settings area, you're gonna have a location for media, you're gonna have a location for ink. So here we were dealing with the R5000. So the media, you can enter um, length and width and price. Um, you can change the units if you're dealing with metric. Uh, you can change that right here. All you have to do is click edit and you will see this is where you can go and add media. So you can just click add, it'll create a new line item. You put in the, the item name, you put in the width, the length and the price, and then the calculations will be handled from there. Um, as we go to the ink tab, you're gonna see the same thing. We can go click on edit here. We can choose the capacity of the inks. Epson knows how the inks are sold. So, um, so in this case, they're all 1500 milliliters. The price is $230 per ink. Um, that is the, the price that IT Supplies has on the website. So that's the price that I chose to use. Once you're done, you click register and uh, it'll take you back to the previous screen. Um, so now you've calculated your ink and your media. If you have other costs that you want to include like prep time or other things that uh, might need to be included in your estimating, you can go ahead and create those under the other tab. Again, just simply click edit and continue. Let's go back to our cost reporting. So as you can see, as this pops up, uh, we have some things on here. We can choose a date range. We can choose filter settings. So I can apply filter settings by media consumption, by ink consumption, job name. So those are just some of the things that uh, we wanna select uh, if you wanna filter. And then we also have showing 
canceled or aborted jobs. So if you want to have a better understanding of waste, you can include those as well. So here, as you can see, uh, we have each job listed individually. We can click on the job, get a detailed report for that job, how much ink was used in milliliters, how much the cost of that ink was based on the information that we put in. We also have the type of media that was used and cost reporting for that as well. So then we can get a full report with the total cost associated with this particular job. Um, other things that you will want to note is that uh, when you are here, uh, you will also have the opportunity to create visible columns or non-visible columns. So if there are columns that you don't use, just click on them and you can say delete. It doesn't actually delete, it deletes it from what's displayed on the next screen, but it actually just moves it right over to the non-visible columns. So, um, so we can go ahead and do that. Um, and then uh, right down here, you're gonna see again a summary and uh, you'll have the complete history for all of the jobs that you've run. Uh, so if you have any questions regarding this or anything else, we strongly encourage you to call IT Supplies. We have the knowledge and the support to help your business succeed. So thanks for watching. Please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe below.